Hello YouTube. So today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of my new Nintendo Switch. All right, now today we will compare both of the Switches side by side and I will try to explain to you why I ordered this one. Yeah, why this is not enough personally for me. Maybe this will be enough for you. Who knows? I will try to discuss whether you should buy Nintendo Switch in 2020 because soon probably we will have a new Switch or maybe some other console from Nintendo, but no one knows. What? Should we start? Let's do this bed unboxing style. Oh, I have a USB here. Noise. Ma, ma, ma. Money shot. They gave me a stand as a gift, but I have one already. This is USB type C to USB. I don't know why the fuck do I need it. Look. So cute. This is fucking China. It was already opened. As you can see, this is version two because I am not a dumb ass. The version two has much more battery and I guess that's all. <sighs> Amazing. I'm so happy. You cannot even fucking imagine how happy I am. Look at this dude. This thing is very beautiful, but it's... Mm, eh. I cannot play Smash with someone. When you have like four players and that huge map and you are sitting looking at this... <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Monkey juice. Hmm, should it be so... so pinkish? I thought it should be orange. Maybe it's fucking fake Switch or fake Joy-Cons. What do you think, guys? How can I check if my Joy-Cons are fake? And this is the main guest. Whoa. Let me see how it looks. Comparing to my old bitch. I mean switch. <laughs> Got him. Oh my God. This looks fucking beautiful. And it has a stand, right? The famous stand. I heard a lot of good things about it. People... I guess we don't have a stand anymore. Fuck. Okay. It, it seems bigger. Much bigger than Switch Lite. Ah. Ah. So, look at the size difference. If you hold OG Switch in your hands, it seems like it's much bigger. But if you will put them together, like, they're almost similar. So. <laughs> Joking. Let's check the other parts of the package. Let me put this baby girl some someplace safe because this table will not be a safe place. Bam, bada, bam, ba, bam. Adapter. Nintendo official HDMI. Amazing. The plug. I have one the same. Good. Very good. Very good plug. What is this? <laughs> you connect this bitch to your Joy-Cons to play it like a separate controller. Hmm, that's pretty good. The controller! Look, you know what? Feels much better than the Cory GameCube controller that I have here. GameCube didn't give any shit about ergonomics. My, all of my fingers are in pain after playing something like Devil May Cry on PC. And now, the main reason why I bought the original Switch. Pop, pop, pop. Kickstand. Oh, fuck. Not kickstand, just stand. Ah, and you put all the cords here. And then you close it and you have a beautiful cable management. Nintendo are very, very smart. AC adapter, USB, HDMI, and two more USB ports. What I like about this console, the maximum resolution that it can produce is 1080p. And it's only in the docked mode. In the portable mode, it's 720p. I like it because I don't have a 4K TV and I probably will never have it. I want to save this box because it's just, it's just so beautiful. 
Now I'm thinking about what have I done because I don't have anyone to play Switch with. And internet in China is not working. I mean, like, I cannot play online. Fuck. But you know what? I don't care because I just want this. I want to be able to switch. So let's compare the sizes. Now, look. Now, I would say that it feels like a real console in my hands. It definitely feels like a real console and I can see that this is something innovative. Switch Lite, it feels much more ergonomic, of course. Yeah, look how beautiful this limited edition is. I would say that this feels more like a PSP. It has so many amazing games and every time when you're playing you are getting amazed by what this thing is capable of. But eventually when you get used to it, this whole ergonomic doesn't compare to the ability of connecting it to the TV and being able to play on the big screen with your friends, being able to actually switch. That's what I would say. $100 price difference is a lot. It's definitely worth that 200 bucks price tag that it has. But for my needs, for what I want to get from the console in the future, Switch Lite is just, just not that. Let's put them together one more time so you could see the difference. Here they are. Size difference, as you can see. Screen difference is also not that big. But this feels like, like an actual console. Maybe other people who were familiar with Switch before Switch Lite came out they reacted to it differently and maybe they can appreciate this a bit more. If this would be the first Switch that came out and this would be the second one, it would be definitely worth upgrading, definitely. If you decided to buy a Switch and this is your first Nintendo Switch, go with this one because I went with this one and eventually I felt the need in the connection to a TV or to the monitor, the need to play with someone else, especially when no one around has also has Nintendo Switch and all the games here in China are blocked, banned, fuck. The only way to play Switch Lite with someone was to connect this to this Hori adapter, which has four USB slots. That's the gameplay, like this. That's how you play Smash. Amazing. It was inevitable that I will buy this. I cannot wait to try it on the TV, on the monitor. The other question is about uh, Switch Pro or something else, the, sec the, the, the next Nintendo uh, console. I think you shouldn't even bother because Nintendo, they took such a different approach from the other consoles. I'm not even sure that they will even improve hardware in their next console. Maybe it will be less powerful with some ports from PS1 or I don't know, from Nintendo 64. They don't care about Xbox and PlayStation race. They are doing their own thing. Just, just look at this, just... What? Who can compete with this shit? There is the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X on the way, but I still bought a second Nintendo Switch. I don't know what can this say about me, but yeah. <sighs> I think if you care about the graphics, you should go with Xbox or PlayStation. Look at the Nintendo's approach. They are making amazing exclusives, but also they keep on doing remakes of some awesome games. To be honest, most of the games nowadays are remakes or remasters. So Nintendo Switch is in a beautiful, perfect place. Because just imagine, the only thing that they have to do to get your attention is to release some cool old game and that's all because this game will be already portable which is like completely different experience when i play dark souls on this thing while taking a dump i i i, I don't know i felt something that's what they are aiming for what am i like a millionaire spending thousands of dollars on 4k tv i don't know no full hd dude full hd that's all we need and by the way, Nintendo also said that this console, these consoles, they will stay relevant for a long time, even after the release of their next generation console. And I hope this will not be the second Nintendo Wii U. I think they already figured out the strategy how to keep 
their consumers busy and happy, I would say. Anyways, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to this video. And you know what? Probably I will also buy a capture card for Nintendo Switch. And maybe there will be some awesome games that we could play. Probably. Maybe. Who knows? See you in the next one.